Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic again. I've got a 2006 Dodge Dakota in the shop. What we're going to be doing today is replacing the clutch pedal switch. Uh, this one actually has a recall on it, and the recall is a P80. That's P as in Paul, 80. If you're not sure if this applies to your vehicle, feel free to contact your local Dodge dealer, get them your VIN number, and they'll research it and see if this has anything to do with your truck. Nonetheless, I want to show you step by step how to remove that clutch pedal switch and what you need to do to get to it. It's pretty cut and dry, just a couple items you might overlook. So if you're having to do this and it doesn't apply to the recall, now you know how. Now if it does apply to the recall, now you see what they're doing. I've already diagnosed this issue with this car. This is the clutch pedal position switch and the way it works is the rod actually goes through it. So this goes up through the rod and then there's a cover that goes on top to hold it in place so it doesn't fall back in. And it is spring loaded. Uh, inside there's an item right there that rides up against a portion of the cable or the rod excuse me. There's a plastic portion that it attaches to and pushes against and as you press the pedal the switch inside moves. So these are actually the electrical connectors. It's a pretty cut and dry repair. It doesn't take long at all. Um, this is what the switch looks like. So we're under the dash. We've got our steering column shaft right here that goes to the firewall. And we got our clutch pedal right here with the rubber pad. On this rod right here at the bottom is the clutch pedal switch, which is supposed to prevent you from cranking the vehicle unless the clutch is depressed. This vehicle will crank with the clutch not depressed currently, so that's why the switch is being replaced. Now, it's got a little harness that comes down here to the screen connector. Now, the first thing I recommend doing is it's a two-stage connector. What I mean by that is the red piece here needs to be pressed upward. And then once we do that, we can squeeze on the green connector to release it. So it takes two steps to get the connector off. Let's just go ahead and push up. Hopefully we don't worry about breaking. There we go. That one's up. And then we'll squeeze in on the connector itself. And there we go. We've got the pigtail, the pigtail from the uh, clutch switch disconnected. Now on the back side as you rotate it around, this white piece, so it's actually kind of turned yellow, we need to release that. That's the upper half of the switch that holds it in place on the shaft. Uh, and once we get that off, it come right out. Now, if you look right here at these two fingers over here, we need to squeeze in on them. Once we squeeze in on them, we can now, let me hold the switch still, we can now slide that cover up. Once we've got the cover up, we can take it off. Now you can see the rod going through it, and how it kind of just hangs on to it. Now what we got to do is just pull back. Need to and pull out. There we go. We've got our switch. Old one's being replaced. We've already got our new one. Now the way it works, is this white piece actually goes inside and has a little track that it goes into. So we need to make sure we engage that when we go up. So we kind of need to go up at an angle. Kind of get it up in there, work it, and then start going backwards, excuse me. There we go, you can actually feel it kind of springing to see how it's kicking back. That's how I know I've got it in the right position. Now I'm going to rotate it around. And what I got to do is I got to slide the cover back on. All right, so here we go. You can actually see the half moon that would go towards the rod. Let's go ahead and get it back on. Position it, slide it, make sure it locks in place. Make sure the fingers come out where they need to be. Here we go. It's locked in place. Now the switch won't be able to fall off. Now all we gotta do is plug it in. If you want to verify that you've got it right, make sure the transmission's in neutral. And then try to start it without depressing the clutch. Please do not start it with it in gear because if it does start, the vehicle will jump forward. You never know what's going to happen. Go to the wall. Hurt somebody. Alright, so I've got it in neutral. Make sure it's in neutral. I'll try to start it. Nothing. Great. Press in on the clutch. Good to go. Corrected it. And we verified that the issue has been resolved. All right, so here is the documentation. Safety recall P80. 
uh, as you can see it applies to 2006 through the 2007 models of the Ram pickups as well as the Dakotas. Uh, it's all based off sales codes and build dates so not every vehicle will apply to this street. Alright so there you go our 2006 Dodge Dakota clutch pedal switch. So it was a pretty simple procedure. Uh, it didn't take much time at all to do. Uh, if the recall does apply to your vehicle it probably take them approximately less than 15 minutes to do so make sure when you come in you schedule about that much time for the repair not to mention them getting to it as well also check with your dodge dealer to make sure it applies to your vehicle uh, in the meantime any kind of thumbs up on youtube is greatly appreciated you can like us on facebook as well as follow us on twitter if you scroll to the bottom of the description of the video there are links to both of those so in the meantime i greatly appreciate you watching these videos i've got more to make and you've got more to watch